This is evidence of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be considered worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you are also suffering, since indeed God considers it just to repay that with afflictions Jesus comes those who afflict you, you and to bear the good news, who are afflicted as well as you to us. And the Lord God has revealed Jesus Christ is Lord. We're downtown Sparks and we're going through our sermon series through the books of Thessalonians. We're talking about viral hope. One of the themes that we're talking about in this sermon series is going to be encouragement. Paul does an awesome job of encouraging the Thessalonian church as he's writing them and he's, he's encouraging them in their faith and he's recognizing all of the things that they've been going through, all the, all the tribulations and trials they've been going through. He's almost treating them like they're baby Christians and they just, they don't need a hard hand like he does with some of the other churches. They just need this soft pastoral presence and that's what Paul gives to them. Really, he models for us what it means to encourage each other. As he closes out the first book of Thessalonians, he says this, he says, and we urge you brothers to admonish the idle Encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with them all. See that no one repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to everyone. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophecies, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good, abstain from every form of evil. As we look at the revitalization of downtown Sparks and the encouraging feeling that we get from being down here, we want to see that same encouragement go out amongst the church as we preach the gospel message through our sermon series of Thessalonians.